here's our water fountain. It's all the way at the edge of our property. And the problem we had was that we would fill it with water, turn the pump on, but then after a few hours, just due to the, the splash or evaporation, the water would go low and the pump would shut off and then we'd have to come out here, fill it up again. So what I did is I added this float switch right there and I tied it Un under there is a Akara open close switch and I chose that because I needed something that wasn't mains powered so the Akara switch work well and I know it's not the nicest look here but this backs up to nothing so from the house you don't even see this and then I just recently now added this PVC here that that ends up um, on a link tap switch so put simply the logic is that when the float switch reads low the link tap opens up water comes out and fills it up once the float switch reads okay the water shuts off and then if the pump for the fountain is not on it turns on and so I kind of had to modify the logic a little bit to show because it normally would never be in this state constant right now because it would have already filled it up but I just changed it but so here's how it would work if that float switch just went low. So it starts to fill it up. And then once that float switch no longer reads low, the water will shut off and the pump will turn on. Almost there. on and we should see that water turn off and it's off so here let me turn the pump off so it's not as loud oh I can't uh, so of course I have safeties in it too where if the link tap is open for longer than two minutes then obviously something's not right because it shouldn't take that long to fill this up and then it will automatically close it um, but overall I've tried it and it seems to work well so now I'll show you how I set up the logic in node red so for the flow you could have something as simple as this down here so when the float goes low, turn or open the link tap. And when the float is okay, then turn the link tap off. That'll work. And under ideal circumstances, you wouldn't have an issue. But if the float switch ever decided to flake out in between it going low and going okay again, then your link tap would stay on at least for as long as the default off time is. Um, so this isn't optimal, so we're not going to use that. But we will use this up here. So we'll just go through it no, node by node real quick. So the first thing is that that float goes low. So if the switches on and I have it set for longer than 10 seconds because sometimes if the water level is just at the right place where 
the, the, the switch will then flicker on and off, on and off real quick. And I don't want the um, water valve opening and closing real quick also. So I have it set that that has to show low for 10 seconds or longer. So when that happens, it's then going to turn on or open up the link tap to let the water flow. So that's just a switch turn on and the link tap entity. And then after that switch turns on, we're going to start a two minute timer. And if that timer expires, we're then going to turn on a helper I created that I just called keep water fountain off. We're going to turn off the link tap or close it to stop the water flow into the fountain. And we're going to turn off the water pump itself in the fountain. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll never get to this point because I have it set to two minutes because I saw that to actually fill it up it shouldn't take more than 20 to 30 seconds at the max so if that's on for two minutes then something happened either the float switch malfunctioned or something so and then also I have it send an alert to me and my wife um, it just lets us know that the water fountain's been trying to fill for longer than two minutes. That's right here. And for this helper up here, I'm then using it down here. So pretty much if the, because I have other flows I don't show here that automatically turn the pump on, you know, at 6 a.m., so if the pump is turned on, it'll check if the water level is low. And if it is, it's then going to turn the pump off again. Or if the keep water fountain off helper is on, it'll turn the pump off. Because I don't really, aside from disabling all those flows that turn the pump on, I have no way to prevent the pump from turning on but I can just have it then turn off again quickly because even if I turned all those flows off we could still manually old school turn the pump on and the only way to then have it turn off again would be this flow here um, so that's pretty much it for now I do have another link tap coming that I'm going to put on the main water spigot coming out of the house that in essence feeds all this other, the it feeds the water fountain, our planters, um, everything else. And I'm just going to use that uh, link tap as kind of a flow meter. So just as another fail safe to say hey if you still see a flow and according to home assistant the water fountain isn't being filled or the planters aren't being watered or the sprinkler system isn't on then there should be no flow so something's wrong and then I'll have that main water spigot close and then send us an alert but I'm not showing that here yet because I don't have it so but overall um, as you see in the vi in the video I tested this and I've also tested the fail safes to <clears throat> excuse me that I don't show but um, they do work so that should be all there is